Welcome, Carmen. Hi, Katie. Good morning. Good morning. So this is the one warm day in December, and we're gonna we're here in Connecticut at Katie's place, and we're gonna do some serious amounts of gardening outdoors. The first thing we're gonna tackle is this unruly rose. It has a light pink or white flower. Uh, Katie thinks it might be a dog rose. Yeah. So it's 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 pretty healthy, but it has a lot of issues like dead wood and you know it's leaning in too much so the first thing I'm going to do is cut it down to size and I'm not going to be fussy about it I'm going to do this oh my god literally I know it's harsh but necessary this is really great though because this is actually my parking spot and so anybody who's on the passenger side of the car gets out and gets immediately snagged by all of these <laughs> thorns yeah. it's like a really nice welcome yeah. So, oh my God! So it, it looks very wow. harsh, but this is a type of this is a climber, okay, um, or a tall shrub rose, and roses respond very well to pruning. Um, <laughs> that's so, going all the way over there. There's actually more of it. Um, oh yeah, right, like this is I think still that yeah. same rose. So what's all happening here, here is that you know over the years, not your fault, Katie, um, it, it was neglected a little bit, you know. So. This is the kind of thing that has to happen every year. Okay. You can do it in the spring, or you can do it in the fall. And being that the spring is usually so insanely busy with everything that you have to do in the garden, so much, I tried to do a lot um, in the fall. So I get it down to a size that I could manage. And you can see I'm not counting buds, I'm not counting, wow. you know, because this is, a, this is a kind of rejuvenative pruning that I'm doing. And you don't need to leave any leaves on? No. Actually, I leave no leaves on my roses. Zero. So once I get it to a point that I can kind of see, then I can get in and start looking for more detail. For example, okay. here's, you can tell sometimes just by the sound, of course, the color. That looks dead. I'm going to take that out. And then I look at it and I see, you see that brown part? That's dead. So I can go deeper. Right? And I'm gonna go here now. Let's see, is it dead this far down? Yes, it is. Is it dead this far down? Yes, it is. And I'm, then here I have to be careful. So, now this, this is definitely dead. You can see by the color. So I'm gonna take this whole thing out. And what I typically do is I only leave, roses, aren't, roses don't have stems, they have things called canes. These are canes. And I leave three or four canes. Okay. And I leave it, I can cut it by at least two thirds of its size. Wow. So pretty, pretty aggressive. I would have never had the guts to do this without you, Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and most people don't. So the other thing is it's competing with the ivy. Mm -hmm. So unless you object, Katie, we need to get the ivy off of this rose, off of the canes, so we can really see what's happening because it's competing for moisture and uh -huh. nutrients if so you look here see these buds they're already set for spring so i'm gonna leave this rose about this big right i'm gonna cut above a bud if you can see that about an about a half inch gonna cut above a bud and i want that bud to grow wow okay now this i can see now that this is dead and i'm gonna remove this entire thing you want to make these I'm not making 90 degree cuts. You can see I'm cutting at like a 45 degree angle. Okay. Um, so Carmen, when I was online shopping last spring, yeah. I was nervous about printing and I bought this spray, which is like almost like a liquid band-aid for plants for printing. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that is a good idea? Is that overkill? Not what necessary, especially if you have a lot to do, Okay. you know? Uh, roses are prone to diseases, but what we've done by removing the ivy, opening it up, it's we've improved the circulation uh -huh. as well as encouraging new growth. Okay. So I don't put any pruning sealer or anything on any roses. Okay. I wanna I want them to just heal by themselves. So this is dead too, see? Wow. And I just want to show the size of this piece. I mean it's way bigger than me. Yeah. Um I would have just been so afraid to cut this off because I would have thought, well, look at all of this. These are going to be all my roses for next summer. No, but you're they, saying they it's will bloom fine. on new wood. Wow. So you will have roses. Yeah. And you, but you will have more importantly a healthier rose bush for the future. Amazing. Okay, now let's look at let's find buds on the older stems. It's a little harder to see, but they're kind of like bumps, you know, like here. See that? 
that's a bud. So what I'm proposing oh. is I usually leave two buds. Here's one. I'm going to cut here. Okay, right okay. here, Katie, right, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Good. Okay, so now this guy has the opportunity to, and if you want to, Katie, you can attach it, you can put, I mean, the ivy is stuck to the building, so I don't know that you need a trellis. You could actually anchor it to the ivy. I was wondering about yeah. that. Okay. So you want them to be vertical. And what do you use to anchor? I, I use tomato tape a lot in the garden, but yeah. is that strong enough? That's fine. Like that? Anything that, that is kind of soft, Okay. Um, you know, that, that is um, not going to cut into the uh, into the cane. Should yeah. I grab some for an example? Yeah, let's okay. do that. It's just right while I try to disentangle myself. All right. So yeah. this is called, I, I don't know, I call this tomato tape. Yeah, it's I, good. You know, you can search tomato tape online, it'll come up. So this is, um, it's not sticky but it sticks to itself and it stretches. So I'm just gonna pull some off so we can tie up this rose. Just break it like that. Um, but it's good for tomatoes and things that have a sensitive stem because if they're blowing in the wind or they're growing, it'll just stretch out rather than um, cut them, cut into the vine. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna use this and just try and tie some to like the ivy thatch. Yeah. So we're gonna um, just watch your eyes. Now see, these are, these are all over the place now. All right, so yeah. um, this one is still too long. I'm gonna cut this one right here. This old growth has some huge thorns. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, so here's a couple buds. Okay. I would say what I do is I start at the bottom to control it. What I want this rose to do is to go this way, Katie. Mm -hmm. So if you can get this at the bottom, okay. Let's try to get, watch your eyes too. Yep. I want this to, it sounds crazy, but I want this to go here. See? No, that looks so much better. Because okay. then these have a place to go. Mm -hmm. So we want to try this to anchor. Kind of a, oh, that's a little floppy. We need Let's to see. anchor this to something. And then we can manage these other other ones. Kind of need like a giant sewing needle. Yeah. Get in here. So we need to find one that's nice and strong. This is good. This okay, is I'll bring good. you closer to you. Okay. So by opening opening the canes, the more they go horizontal, the more blooms you get. Look at this now. The flowers here, flowers there. This looks like a real rose that I would see in a garden. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm And so it's so hard. And if you make oh. a mistake, you really, unless the rose is super duper weakened, if you make a mistake and you overcut, they are super forgiving. So don't be hard on yourself. See where the canes are. If one of these dies, Katie, it's easy for you to go and cut it now mm -hmm. and see what's going on. All right. Wow. Now look, it's got a nice little vibe, doesn't it? It really does. What I would do typically now is put a bunch of compost right here. Great. And then put back some leaves as mulch to sort of tuck mm -hmm. it in. They'll break the down okay. and and you know protect it Great. for the winter because today is 55, but that's it. We're this done. Is the last one for sure. For yeah. sure. Um, so okay. that's it. That it's is just, that is rose pruning in a, in a nutshell. It doesn't I take love long. It. <laughs> it looks so much better.